What's going on YouTube? Zavar Forest Landscape here coming at you with another video. So I posted a video a couple days ago about my pumpkin plants that I planted a couple weeks ago. And this is the update. So the pumpkin plants have sprouted and are growing a tremendous amount of roots. I know you can't see it very well right now, but I'm going to take them out in a second. So real quick, I just want to show you I'm going to be potting these in red solo cups. I poked six holes in the bottom with a knife. Nothing too fancy, just a quick little easy flower pot. And the garden soil that I'm going to be using is Promix HP, so high prosperity soil. It's got mycorrhiza in it, which is a fungus that helps the root system grow to be stronger. It's a really, really good soil, something I like to use on my uh, more prized plants. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to prep these pots for planting and I'm going to take them out, take the plants out, and I'm going to show you what we got and then I'm going to plant them. So here we go. Water's boiling. Right. So there is one, I spilled the water. And two, don't want to have too much dirt. So I'll go ahead and I'll take the better plant out real fast just to show you guys what's going on. Look at those beautiful roots, you guys. We got a nice little pumpkin plant coming out of the top. The seed pod was actually attached to the top and I ended up kind of going and just peeling the seed pot off so that it could free itself but look at those beautiful roots we've got a lot of root growth on this plant and it's looking like it's going to be a really healthy plant so all I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the depth is on this flower pot and that's a little bit shallow, so I'll add a little bit more dirt. And just like that. I want to leave just a tiny bit of room at the top right here for watering. I'm going to go ahead and set that down. It's nice and in place. All I'm going to do is take my second cup and sprinkle the soil on very gently, trying not to break the roots. And once I feel like I have enough soil, I'm just going to gently pack around this plant. Because when you water, the water will pack the soil down. So I don't want to have too little soil in my flower pot solo cup pot and that looks pretty perfect so now what I'm gonna do to water this to make sure that my watering is easy and I don't get water running all over the floor I have another solo cup here that is solid no holes in the bottom I'm gonna set this cup in here with a little bit of water in the bottom Basically what this is going to do, because this soil is fresh, it's really dry. And so I really want this soil to soak up and just be drenched for the first watering. So we're just going to go ahead and water through completely. This water has been aerated. So what that means is there's a lot of oxygen in the water and there's also no uh, sanitizing chemicals that they use for cleaning water at the water processing plant like um, chlorine bromine none of that stuff which would potentially harm your plants or the microorganisms or the funguses inside the soil so i used all the water on that i'm going to go get another cup of water real quick and i'll be right back So 
So there's my second cup of water. We got my second pot filled up with a little bit of dirt. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a nice shovel full of soil, bring it out here, and we'll be using this to finish the potting on the second pot on the second plant. So this is the second plant, not as crazy of root growth as the other one, but still a very, very healthy amount of root system growing on this second plant. So we're going to go ahead and just gently set this in the soil so that the root system doesn't break. Looks like I could use a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush some dirt off this shovel right into there, settle things down, gently place this on top of the soil, and then sprinkle some dirt right into that flower pot. I'm spilling a lot on the ground. I set up a piece of paper on the floor so that this didn't make a huge mess because I knew that the dirt was gonna go all over the place. So, I'm just going to go and pick this dirt up off the piece of paper. Make sure that we don't waste anything. So there we go guys. Second one is planted nicely. I got my second cup right here. No holes in the bottom. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom, set my cup into a solid cup, and then I'm gonna pour water on top of that and make sure that this soil gets drenched. You wanna make sure that the first time you water, your soil gets completely moisturized you don't want to have any dry pockets and that's what the cup does so basically we're making sure that all of the water that goes into this solo cup stays in the solo cup and has to soak into the soil this is fresh potting soil so it shouldn't have a problem soaking in but I'm in my room I don't want water running all over the place and so we're just going to keep things clean and let that soak up. But that's pretty much it. We got our two plants planted. I'll take the camera off the stand now and get a nice close-up of these two pumpkin plants in their place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these in a tray with humidity dome because they're still infant plants. They're going to need a high moisture, high humidity environment. And those will go in the window seal so that they get a lot of natural daylight as well as staying very well hydrated. All right guys, that's update number three on the pumpkin plants. Thumbs up on that one and I'll see you next time.